In section 2, we learned about how water behaves when we release droplets onto different surfaces. We now know that some objects like water and let water spread, while others don't and water can't spread out on these surfaces. In this section, we will see a special kind of surface, which is super repellent towards water. What is super repellency? Repellent means that a surface repels and pushes water away. So if a surface is super repellent, it means that it will push the water away even more. Let's look at the difference between a normal repellent surface, which doesn't like water, and a super repellent surface. On the normal repellent surface, we see that water doesn't spread on the surface, but it does stick quite a lot. A lot of tilting is required for the droplets to roll away. However, when we look at the super repellent surface, we see that there is very little contact between the surface and the droplet. There is almost no attraction from the surface towards the droplet, so the water moves around very easily and not much tilting is needed before the droplet rolls. It is like the droplet is hovering on the surface. Scientists also refer to super repellent surfaces as super hydrophobic surfaces. We can only see the reason why some surfaces are super hydrophobic if we look at them at over a million times zoom. These images are both from leaves of plants. This first surface image is the leaf of the lotus plant. Its bumpy surface makes it hard for water to sit on it and spread out, meaning the water stays as large droplets. There are lots of small pillars which prevent the droplet of water from reaching the lower surface. The shape of the pillars means that the water can't spread and just sits on the surface of the leaf. This is the surface of a cabbage leaf. If you touch a cabbage leaf, you will notice that it feels waxy. This is because of the very rough surface. In a similar way to the lotus leaf, the rough surface makes it very difficult for water to spread out, so the water stays as droplets. We can copy plants and animals that have evolved over millions of years to become super repellent and make our own man-made super repellent surfaces. We use super repellent surfaces in a number of different ways. Can you think of any? How about when it's raining outside and you have forgotten your umbrella? You'll need a coat that doesn't absorb water and leave you wet through. Now think about when you're at home and you spill your favourite sports drink all over the table or the carpet. Not good news. Now look what happens if we make the tablecloth super repellent. Look, it doesn't make a stain. You can clean it up easily. In this video, we have learnt about super repellent or super hydrophobic surfaces. These surfaces are special because they don't allow water to spread or stick on them. The surfaces can do this because of their very rough texture, like the pillars of the lotus leaf. We can use technology to make our own super hydrophobic surfaces with many different uses, like waterproof clothing or avoiding spills.